Hi there, and welcome to this little video where I will demonstrate how the upper tone works. Right, you have to forgive, um, it's a little bit tatty. I've had it for a number of years and um, I've replaced some of the sponges uh, a few times and uh, they've now got tape around them to, to protect them. Right, so uh, um, the first thing we need to do before you uh, even start is um, decide on uh, what weight you're going to lift. Now, this I've used this up to about with about 30, 40 pounds, but it will take it will take more weight. But at the moment we've got about um, two and a half kilos, five pounds on here. And at the moment I've got a maximum. If you wanted to reduce the amount of weight, then all you do is slide the slider down. You see, and that will take it down to about two and a half kilos. So, but we'll we'll slide it um, all the way up to the top. Now we've moved the uh, weights into the uh, highest position, was at the very top, and we're actually at the back of the upper tone now, and we're, we're in the position where we do the bicep curls. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you very quickly how the bicep curl works. Your elbow, remember, no hand movement whatsoever. So your elbow sits on top of the pad, and the back and the bottom of your wrist goes underneath here, and you basically do that, that's all you do. You see? And that is a, that's what we call a bicep curl. There is another exercise that, all, that um, exercises the back, and that is that exercise where you turn your elbow, your arm around, and that exercises the front of the arm. So as you can see, you can do more than one exercise on the bicep curl, like that, and like that. And of course, we go to the other side and we do exactly the same with the other arm. Okay, now we've repositioned and we're going to do some shoulder exercises now. Now, first of all, I'm going to exercise the front of my shoulder. Remember, you've got two sets of muscles in your shoulder. You've got the front ones and you've got the ones on the side. These primarily um, exercise the muscles at the front of the shoulder, which will help you, especially for me when I go fishing, because I do a lot of that movement, so that will really help me with, with my fishing. So you basically put your hand underneath the sponges here, and you lift, like that. See? Simple as that. And you, I do 15 repetitions and about four sets of that exercise. Simple as that. Okay, I'm going to show you how to exercise the other portion of your shoulder now. Now you may have noticed that I've raised this, this section of the um, exercise machine by turning the little handle at the back. Very, very easy to do because obviously it was these sponges were too low before. So to exercise the, the, uh, the side of the shoulders, we need to have our hands pointing down. Remember before we had our hands pointing up but now we have our hands pointing down, so, so that isolates the muscle. So all we do now is we put our elbows underneath, and we do like we do it like that. I've, I've actually sorry, I've raised it a little bit too high. I should have had it a bit lower, but you can you can get the the idea of how this works. I should have had it a bit lower than this, and then I could I, then I would have been able to bring my shoulders all the way up. But at the moment. You can see, just by lifting like that, how we're exercising our shoulder. Okay, okay this is um, what they call rowing. And this exercises the muscles in your back and the back of your shoulders and, and your shoulders. So what you do is you go front on to the equipment, put your hands in these little um, three, uh, three peg um, um, holders. And then you basically pull towards you like that. And that exercises the back of your shoulder. So, and that that's a very good exercise, and that will enable you to open doors and help you if you're pulling something towards you, pushing your wheelchair backwards, etc. 
That's a really, that's a really good exercise. It's one of my favourite exercises actually. And when you do this for the first time, you wake up in the morning and you know you've done some exercises. So that's what we call rowing. Okay, this next exercise, and uh, the last one that I'm going to demonstrate, is a chest press. And this will exercise all the muscles across the front of the chest and the front of the shoulder. So again, like, a bit like the rowing we just did, we put our arms here, but we're sitting the other way around now. Now, I push those away there, and I, I like to sit fairly, fairly for, far forward, so that my arms are back, and then all we do then is push forward like that. And having our arms fairly wide apart does our, does our chest. If you want to exercise and isolate your tricep muscles, what you do is you bring these bars in here like that and do it like that. I have, unfortunately, my triceps are very weak, so I can't I get as far as there. But if you have got some tricep muscles, obviously you'll be able to push it a lot further. So again, we'll make it a bit wider. Don't worry, it's not as fiddly as it looks. We go there, and that's our chest, chest press. And again, this will aid you in pushing your wheelchair 